Welcome back, folks. Thanks for joining me again, this time for a review of the Zen Gold Label by 900 Global. We'll go ahead and jump right in. The Zen Gold Label features the Meditate Core that was originally featured in the Zen and then the two uh, Zen Master and Zen Soul after that as well. However, we have the Batch 801 Pearl Coverstock series, so what that means is the ball is supposed to be cleaner and more responsive, but not necessarily a ball weaker. Um, Storms Media seems to suggest that the Zenfold label is going to cover more boards than we have. Here over the next couple of minutes, we're going to put that supposition to the test. We've got a original Zen to compare against, as well as a IQ Tour Ruby. Right off the bat, this thing hooks a mile as long as I bump the dry. The, my miss is in it seemed to wiggle just a little bit into the puddle. We do have quite a bit of oil in the middle at Millennium Bowl uh, on the house shot, sort of, for now. So on this particular house shot, if I were going to use the gold label for score, I would really gear my miss right and open up my ankles. That new cover does certainly get a lot further down the lane than the original Zen for me. The original Zen for me was kind of on top of the phase two as far as where it wanted to hook, uh, when I could use it. It wanted to get going really soon and get offline really soon, and it really was best on absolute fresh conditions. For the gold label, I think that's going to be, um, I think it's going to be a little more of a two ball kind of behind those big solids, uh, but it is a ball that I could almost move my feet left with when I have to change from those. Having a symmetrical ball with a really big core like this that I can kind of move in and hook the lane with, um, with a stronger cover like that is unique because a lot of times for me I would have to do that with an ASIM and I'm going to see a lot more sort of hook stop as I get bigger and bigger with my angles out of balls like that where the symmetricals are going to be a little more likely to keep their axis and get through the pins the right way. And we'll see up against the Zen as we are further right, the balls are relatively on top of each other, the difference becomes when I get further left and open up my angles. You see the original Zen seems to demand a little bit straighter angles through the front part of the lane where the gold label is almost impossible to miss right with and it under hook. If I get it right quick, it really wants to see it. Um, so that formula, while it's cleaner than the original Zen, I do think that it's stronger overall and that's going to create a ball that's really, really strong left to right. Once again, I think this will technically be a two ball to the Zen, but it's not because it's weaker, it's because it's further down the lane. So whenever I go to the gold label from the original Zen, I think I'm gonna have to take a big step left. I chose the Ruby as my other ball to compare with because I found both balls to be really, really clean as far as their covers go, but the cores are really, really uh, low RG, really wanna pick up and get going. And I thought that the shapes were really, really similar, although total strength is quite a bit different. Now you'll see here overall the Ruby is a touch cleaner. While the Ruby does rev up and sort of want to pick up around the same spot, it doesn't start to really get offline and, and hook as much as the Gold Label does, or as soon as the Gold Label does. Overall, I don't think the covers are that far apart as far as total strength. I certainly think the Gold Label is probably a one step up, but I think the huge difference that you're seeing in the ball motions is gonna be due to the cores. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.